Another beautiful morning here inside John's Pass. A little bit overcast and cloudy, uh, but gonna be a great day out in the water. They're only forecasting 10 knots, two to two foot seas uh, near shore on NOAA. At least they were last night, this morning. It's probably gonna be a little bit more like two to three, maybe 10 to 15, and gradually increasing throughout the day. Uh, but it's still gonna be a beautiful day out here, guys. What we wanted to uh, show you though, is how the 63 hour did. I wanna show you the pile of fish they caught. Uh, they did really well on the queen snapper. They got some nice piles. Wahoos. That is a nice Kitty Mitchell. Woo! Some big queens. Big queens. How many queen snapper did you end up with? I'm guessing 20 queens. Ed caught five himself. Wow. That's a big kitty. Hold up that Kitty Mitchell, Will, bro. Yeah. Some amber jack. Uh -huh. But I've got one. Yeah, that thing's, wow. that's a heavy fish. Oh, I got a nice fish. Really fat, fat fish. I've got one. Uh, what were you saying about him? Nice wing. Wow. One question. Hold on one second, okay? He's going to be fat And you need to be 29. Wow. He's right there. That is beautiful. Nice, nice stringer of tiles. They don't remember that or something. It will. Will. Oh, the other guy got yeah. Alright. Will, how'd you guys do out there? Yeah, it was a great trip. The weather was great. That makes a big difference out here on these 63s is the weather. And we were able to get out there to a 650 foot spring right off the bat first thing uh, Friday morning. And that's where we got all those queens, a couple big scamps, amberjack. And uh, had a pretty good day of it the first day, uh, but the second day we ran into a little current, so it was trickier fishing the second day. Uh, this is a guy's string from the second day of the trip right here, yellow Ooh, edge. one stringer, wow. And a lot of tiles. So uh, we caught fish on the second day, they just weren't the big queens and stuff, you know. We got some nice groupers on the second day, big kitty. But first day was great on the queens. Uh, we got some tunas. We got tunas trolling at night. Bob will have it on this video. I mean, pitch black. They put their lures out and caught tunas. Wow. It'll be cool to see. Uh, and I don't know if they do that other places, but if we were in deep water, they bit it. Pitch That's black. crazy. Yeah. Trolling at night for tuna. How about that big wahoo I saw? Uh, it may have run away with that thing already. We got a big yeah, wahoo. Not What'd not they catch on that? That big, too big body. What'd they catch the big wahoo on? Uh, he got the wahoo on a number four planer with a small uh, cowbell on it. Small cowbell on a number four planer, wow. Not, common, not a common rig. No, definitely not. Big snowies. How big were the two mahi? Uh, Ed lost one at the boat, or I lost one at the boat for Ed. It was probably about 15 pounds, and then caught another about 15 pounds one wow. as well. That's a nice one. Well, thanks for the report, Will. I appreciate it, man. No problem. Good 63. You heard it there, you saw the pile of fish. They did pretty well out there. We only had about eight uh, anglers. We ended up with 11 total lines in the water with the captains. Uh, so that is a real good pile of fish for eight uh, paying customers. And uh, we look forward to more 63 hours in this fall. Uh, we have a 63 hour coming out again. Uh, we have two of them this fall. We got lots of 39 hours and 44 hours coming up in June. Remember, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just busy. Uh, tune in tonight, 8.30 p.m. We have that uh, Q&A. We're going to do a live Q&A tonight at 8.30 p.m. Uh, so save your questions for tonight, 8.30 p.m. Tune in to this Facebook page. Again, Hubbard's Marina's Facebook page, and we'll be doing that live Q&A. May 26, 2 p.m., we'll have that uh, Bass Pro Shop seminar. May 29, 7 p.m., we'll have the Moss Nissan Real Animals event. And remember, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too busy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that big pile of fish. And we got a lot of great uh, photos and on-the-water video from Bob Harvison coming soon. So stay tuned, guys. Have a good day.